So I saw Sully um, on this little workcation that I'm on in, Dal in the beautiful Dallas, Texas. And I got to tell you, it was a lot better than Jack Reacher 2. And it was a very, very well made solid film with a slightly disappointing ending. I was kind of hoping everybody on the plane was going to die. I'm joking. Most of the kids of YouTube have got their reviews out already for Sully. This is nothing new. This is just one man's opinion. I assume if you've watched this, you've already seen the film for yourself and you're just interested to know what I thought about it if our, our viewpoints line up. I think it's well made. Tom Hanks is a critical darling. He's always terrific. I, I think he's an amazing actor and probably an amazing person. Uh, I know nothing about him, but I, I want to call him dad at some point at life. Other noteworthies, Laura Linney's in this as his wife. They have some financial issues, I think. I don't know, it never really gets addressed, if I recall. That, that story just kind of fizzles. They never actually meet up again. I, th I thought that was really odd. Um, that, that's, the one only, that's the only big gripe I have with the movie, is it, it's, it's well done. The CG on the, on the plane is cool, watching it crash. I mean, it's, it's fake, for sure. I, they didn't really crash a plane full of people, which, you know... They didn't want to go all out, I guess. We get dedicated scenes, though, where, where Tom Hanks, uh, his character Sully, calls his wife probably five times. You know, she's watching the news, she's seeing the, the events that are happening, she's worried about him, they have this financial stuff going on, and none of it gets resolved. They, they never meet at the end and, and hug, and uh, it's, it's, that's just weird to me. There's going to be spoilers on this video. As I've stated, most have already seen this thing, I think, and if not, I would assume you know the, the story behind uh, the events that took place, which were only a few years old. It's still fresh. They're in the hearing room going over the footage, and Jeff Skiles, uh, Aaron Eckhart's character, says a quip, says a joke, and that's how they end the mo movie. A movie that was, for the most part, pretty uh, light on the humor. It was, it was a pretty somber affair. And then they throw this joke out, and everybody laughs, and the movie just abruptly cuts. I needed like five more minutes where he went home, saw his family, kind of settled down a little bit, had, had some dinner maybe, looked off, looked out his window, saw a plane fly off in the distance, and he smiles. Something just a little bit more uplifting and, and more natural flowing than the way that they ended this. All the actors do a fine job. They all brought their A game. There's a lot of actors I recognized I hadn't seen for like 10 years or so, who got heavier or just a lot older, and I would nudge my buddy, I'm like, hey, remember him? He, he's been in like 20 movies, he's always a douchebag, and here he is again, playing a douchebag. Um, it's always fun when that kind of stuff happens. The B and C cast, however, I wasn't feeling. So you have the A-listers and um, you know the supporting actors, but then you have the, the, um, the characters on the plane themselves. They were cartoonish at times, particularly a, a group of uh, two brothers and a dad who just wanted to go golf. That, that's all you know about these guys is they want to golf. And it kind of takes you out of it a little. You're not really sure what the movie's going for at that time because everything is so intense. Whenever they cut back to the plane itself and Sully trying to keep this thing from crashing and you already know the outcome, you're still there like, holy shit. Clint Eastwood directed, I thought for sure we're looking at an over two hour movie. Most of his, mo I think all of his movies are over two hours. Usually they run around 220 or so. But he's consistently gotten shorter with his films. And this one is only an hour and 36 minutes long. I assume that includes credits. So really it's an hour and a half. And maybe he had an ending there. I'm going back to the ending again because it's bothering me because it would have made this movie just that much better. But if you would have added five more minutes on, I think, I, I think it would have made all the, all the difference. There, there's a really weird shot. I just, I just noticed some of these bizarre things in this because most of it is so... You know, it's so well executed, the, the shots are framed very nicely, that when you do get that one shot, it stands out like a sore thumb. And there's one, there's a, a reporter talking, um, you know, kind of talking about the scenes going on, and it's only maybe 10 seconds long, but he's got this kind of weird way he talks like this, and it was probably based off a real anchorman at the time. Um, but the camera's right here. He's like this close, and he's talking like this, and this is weird, it was bizarre. I don't know why they did that. <laughs> yeah, Clint Eastwood's not typically known for having these kind of goofy parts to his movies. Million Dollar Baby and, you know, Gran Torino and stuff are all very well executed from beginning to end. Typically when a film's based on true story, I don't uh, come out of the theater like, holy shit, that was incredible. 
you kind of know what you're going to get every time. They all kind of have the same beats. Um, you dive into the personal life a little bit. You see the struggles. They're not as clean as they appear on the surface, although Sully was almost as polished as you could get, besides some little financing issues, which, once again, I don't believe are ever addressed. You just have to assume he, he, he makes a good amount of money from endorsements and things later. To put a number on it, though, one being the worst, ten being the best, I think it falls at a square at an eight. It's, um, it's a nice film. That's it. That's Sully. Let me know what you thought. Um, were you blown away? I highly doubt it. An eight might be a little generous. I could, I could easily watch it again, though. I have a flight to catch tomorrow. I thought about watching more kind of plane crash films before getting on my own uh, to really get in the right mood for it. Get off my plane.